welcome back guys in this video we'll be seeing on which platform board of our ragnarok runs better whether it's windows or linux based per side i'll be testing the game on my rog ally i have the set one xc variant of this device before jumping into the gameplay just wanted to cover the latest patch patch 2 update log fixed an issue where nvidia dlss frame generation would not work properly dlss fg is limited to rtx 40 series gpus it should be working properly now Fixed an issue with NVIDIA Reflex would show as disabled in the user interface when enabling frame generation. Reflex is used to reduce the latency. Fix some timing markers with NVIDIA Reflex. Fix the user interface not showing surround sound in audio calibration. Fixed an issue with surround sound would apply stereo audio mixing causing some sound to be too quiet or loud. I complained about this issue in my previous ROG Ally video. Good to see, this issue has been fixed. I was unable to hear the dialogues during the cutscenes, especially Thor's dialogues. Fix the user interface controller icons being low resolution and blurry in some cases. Fix the issue where controls would not work during quick time events if in track, evade was swapped in addition to having steam input enabled. Fix an issue on steam deck with the button not being mapped, blocking completing a tutorial moment. Now you can run the game on GPUs having less than 6 GB of VRAM. But it's mentioned here, these GPUs are still not officially supported. You may encounter performance issues or crashes. First, I'll be running the game on Windows platform using this manual APU power profile, all three power values set at 30 watts. Fan curve. Now, I'll try to use the same settings on Bazite platform. It can be a bit tricky as I'll be using handheld daemon software to set the settings. No army grade. My is running on BIOS version 441. I have installed AMD's latest beta GPU driver. Resolution set to Full HD, CPU boost disabled, connected my Gullicate KK3 mask gamepad to LIV app rooted mode. We'll be using a custom afterburn overlay to show you the performance metrics. In-game settings, FSR 3.1 upscaler enabled using its balance preset vSync off. I've set shadows to low, rest of the settings set to medium. Film gain and motion blur set to nil. Camera sway and camera shake set to nil as well. Internal in settings, VSync and VSync enable, anti lag setting enable. I load a very demanding area, so it will find there's Kratos in Atreus. Here, FPS is close to 35, hitting the GPU bottleneck, VRAM usage around 5.1 GB. Just move the camera in complete circles. See frame pacing graph, it's a bit erratic. FPS is very variable, not sure why this area is so demanding. In God of War 2018, there is an area where the performance is limited by single core CPU performance, the game's performance. It's due to a giant serpent in the background, the world serpent. But in this area, we don't have any titan chilling in the background. It's completely barren land. Okay, 34 to 42 FPS. I'll explore the area. Use this board, show you some combat as well. Temperature is 80 degrees Celsius. Nothing extreme, and I can handle it. I tested this sequence on Steam Deck, observed a lot of frame pacing issues. VRR is working. No screen tearing animation does not look janky even when the FPS is all over the place. Fifty FPS now. Looking for the show. Stop by here. Water here is very demanding. I'll freeze it. Keep an eye on the FPS counter. Yeah, here FPS dropped to around 34. I'm observing some choppiness now. 
frame pacing issue see the erratic grab I'll engage in combat FPS didn't drop below 30 that's good to see you can always drop the resolution to 900p enable frame generation to improve the performance massive FPS drop here FPS drop from 60 to 32 Optimization is required. Combat time. Thirty four to forty FPS during combat. Now I'll test the game on beside. Even for Bazite, I have set the UMA buffer size to 6 GB. Show you the handheld daemon settings. Advanced settings. TDP set to 30 watts. TDP boost disable. Fan curve. Charge limit set to 80%. It works even on Bazite. CPU power set to balance. CPU boost disable. GPU frequency auto. Performance QM settings. OLED L set to 3. BRR enabled, frame limit set to 120, and that's it. Okay, need to disable the controller mode in order to get your gamepad working. Just open handheld daemon setting, controller emulation set to hidden. Connected my cosmic patch to the latest gamepad to allow a Bluetooth mode. Using G Proton version 9 13 as the compatibility layer. Start the game. We are in. Beside uses Weekend DCD Translational Layer to Translate. Direct 12 API calls to Vulkan. Same settings as before. FSR 3.1 Upscaler Balance Preset. Display Resolution Full HD. Shadow set to Low. Rest of the settings set to Medium. Note the same sequence. There's Kratos and Atreus. Here we are getting around 40 FPS. In the same sequence, FPS was close to 35 on Windows platform, but the temperatures are higher on Bazide. Not sure why. GPU power draw is close to 25 watts. CPU power draw. It's very variable, 6 watts. It seems the total APU power draw is slightly higher than 30 watts. Over, I beg your pardon, overall performance does seem to be better on Bazite. I tried using the same settings on both of the platforms. Frame time graph, mostly a flat line. It is 7 degrees Celsius temperature for the GPU. Yeah, total APU power draw is close to 30 watts. Just add up these two power values. But the temperatures are considerably higher on the side. 87 degrees Celsius. On Windows platform, temperature was close to 80 degrees Celsius. So better performance on Bazaar with higher temperatures. Frame pacing issue is not present. No screen tearing. VRR is definitely working. Yeah, this area is demanding. Freeze the water. 
Let's move the camera in complete circles here. 40 FPS. Approximately 32 watts of power is being drawn. Only for the APU. Here FPS dropped to around 35. Again slightly better performance than Windows. That's it. So higher temperatures on the side. But the performance was also better than Windows. I tried using the same settings on both of the platforms, so not sure why this difference is present in terms of temperature and performance. That's it with the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.